All right, welcome to, I guess, the first episode of the Adventure Tale Castle Map. So this map I've been, uh, <coughs> it's been under construction for some time. This is, uh, I just finished this, let's say a few days ago, even though it's not finished, still got a lot of work to do. The inside, I might change this carpet design. But you know, I decided just to, uh, show some of the progress on this castle. This room, which will be the ballroom, it's very empty right now. As you can see, I'm still deciding what to put in here. You can see we got the a foreign flag, which is the uh, nation flag here. Got a little section of the roof right over there. Probably gotta change this eventually. Originally, I had the roof just like with the birched wood, the chiseled version of the logs, but I decided that looked better, better just blends better. And then you got the castle roof right here. As you can see, it's got some simple designs. I put the mossy stone to give it a little more texture. I still gotta put a glass window right here. This is, of course, the main king's room. This is the uh, throne. It's not the most impressive throne of all time. It's pretty simple. And then, yeah, these columns here. This will be the king's window where you can look out, except that roof is admittedly in the way a little bit. I don't know if I'll change that eventually. You can look out the side. If you go downstairs, this is where the entrance will be. <coughs> this is kind of the basement, still got a lot of work to do. But this is where you'll enter in. Most of the uh, guests for the king will enter across this bridge. Watch this bridge, I've got a few different test railings on it because I'm just trying to figure out which one looks best. So, yeah. This is basically the entrance. You walk up here. This is the gate. Now close in case of like there was ever an attack, or to just keep it closed for the most time so no one breaks in. This will all need to be paved out. These will be windows in the future. You'll walk up here, and then you'll greet the king. This is where the king will be. Now behind here, of course, <coughs> is the ballroom. Not much in here. I haven't even done much work to it. I'm still trying to decide what details to put in here. But this is the center tower. You can see there's no basement yet. But if we go up here, it's very disorienting. Just walking up. This is the king's bedroom. Very luxurious, especially for the 17th, 16th century time period I'm trying to go for. He'll look out his window and see the glorious land. He'll look out this window, you'll see the villages in the future. So yeah, down here, this is going to be the village. It's where the bridge is going to lead. into the village. There will be uh, probably two guard castle towers right over here because we're going to have a second gate. Because only the king and his guests can go on this bridge. This will kind of be the lower class part of the village right here directly before. That or might just have a higher class because it depends. But yeah, this will be the village. Mostly probably the richer village. There'll also be villages built along probably a few of these islands. Those will be more just the more poor villages. So far we got four guard castle towers. One on each corner. 
It also partially works in structural support. I made sure to make these columns slightly thicker at the bottom. I might even add an extra thickness layer right around here. Now that the uh, thing is gone, over here at the top of the tower, we have, of course, the lands. I'll just break this for now so I can enter. It's pretty simple. This will be like a little room. The kid could look out. These small windows and see both directions or all directions. This ladder leads down. This is the uh, stairwell, as you can see, it goes down. This hallway right here, it leads to another lookout area. It's kind of like a balcony. He needs some fresh air. It's almost directly across from his room. You can see the wonderful views, and I want to plant more trees around here, make it look a little nicer. See, there's the entrance. There's the king's room on the other side. Right over here is the walkway out of the ballroom. The king can walk out. He'll walk down right down here. And he'll find his garden. Probably right down there. I'll probably plant his garden eventually. Right over here is a pre-spawned village. I actually probably will keep it. Maybe mod it a little bit. I like the look of it. It's kind of fitting. Right on the island with the king. This will be where most of the servants live. This will also be where the king could probably dock his boat. Since the king usually when he leaves the castle will just go on his boat. So this way he doesn't have to deal with the crowds in the city. So we can just go over here. Leave the boat. As you can see I need to get rid of some of this dirt. Make it more sensitive to his wood. look at this castle from a distance. This is some of the lands. I honestly haven't explored much over here. As you can see, there's also another pre-spawn village over there. Kind of in the distance. Just got the castle right over there.
Okay, I gotta say that looks a lot better. <sighs> Instead of having just some straight support, since theoretically these two towers right here are supporting some of the weight from this wall, help it balance it out. Especially since this corner in particular does not have a tower at it. So they have a little bit of balance support right here. I mean, the walls could technically support themselves, because you got all these columns in here. But theoretically, it's just like kind of uh, balancing. Because the towers are going to have a lot more load to them. Yeah, speaking of which, this definitely needs to be made a little thicker. A little bit too high. I think we just want to copy from what we did in the front. probably be it for now eventually when I do more work on it get some windows especially when I work on that ballroom make it look a little nicer I'll probably make an update video or if I just decide to start building a village either way I'd say that's it for uh, today 